Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So, fresh off of our trip to Scottsdale last week, Matty Boy, we were yes. out at Scottsdale National uh, at PXG HQ. We were. We had a phenomenal time. We had a chance to preview the new line of clubs, which you guys will see at the end of March, 27th, yeah. I believe, Yeah, it'll be is. a bit before embargo, but we are allowed, obviously, the ball. We're actually late to the party with the ball. Yeah, we are. And, and you know what? It's good, I think, that we, hmm. we are getting to do this now because I think if we hadn't had a chance to I should play outdoor first and then come back indoors and do it. It's probably the first time we've ever got to see a ball flight outdoors. Mm -hmm. Got Trackman numbers yep. um, and played a little bit on the short game area and stuff and then come back in. We've never done that before. Never done that and it was really good to actually see it perform and now we're going to obviously isolate some of the, the yep. speed launch and spin mm -hmm. characteristics of the ball. But uh, initial impressions for you? Uh, I My initial impression was almost like I went in skeptical because I had heard bad things. Right. But when I hit it, uh, wedge, seven iron driver, honestly, my numbers were good. Really good. Um, it reminded me a lot of Pro V1X, yep. which is why we're going to compare it to Pro V1X. Mm -hmm. um, I, I mean, is it a bit firm? Sure. Um, but you could say that about a lot of higher spin balls. Yep. So yep. yeah, my initial impressions were I don't really get where the negativity is coming from. Mm -hmm. um, I got some fast driver speeds. I had really nice spin off the irons, good ball speed. Yep. Um, yeah, I, don't, I mean, from that outdoor experience, which to be fair is the most important, mm -hmm. It was good for me. It I mean, really it was a ball good. that I would consider using. Definitely. Um, so, guys, yeah, like Matt said, Pro V1X is really the ball that we see this being as closely or designed as closely to in terms of premium golf balls. Um, Three-piece cover. Yep. 338 dimple design. So which is closer to Pro V1X? It's cr uh, closer to Pro V1X, so it's 348. But the layering is a Pro V1, three, essentially. A three-layer, yeah. yeah. Yep, so it has a three-layer uh, composition. Um, really like the alignment aid on there for, nice. the, for the putting. Uh, and actually, I really like the, the bright white kind of cover that they've got on there. It, yeah. it does, it really pops. I think sometimes when you play a golf ball, and, and I definitely you know see this after a few holes, you look at it and it's really dulled down. It turns gray almost. Almost a little, yeah, kind yeah. of dark and just, but this this really kept its, uh, kind of kept its, its nice sheen to hmm. it. I think we've done the important test, which is outdoors. I think it's a valid ball outdoors for mm -hmm. sure, which I think people would, you know, maybe even gauge as more important. Right. Um, but we've got to see what the numbers are side by side in the scientific environment where we isolate everything. No wind, no nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Price point wise, it is a little bit less than the other premium golf balls that's been it kind is. of put in that premium class. But uh, here in Canada, uh, Pro V1X or in Pro V1 are $73. Yeah. Uh, PXG balls coming in at fifty seven ninety nine. Yep, pretty good. Fifteen bucks less 15. in the US. Same thing. Yeah, um, forty dollars thirty nine ninety nine in the US and fifty five dollars in Pro V. So North America, you save quite a lot. Yeah, you do save a decent amount. Um, in the uh, UK market, there's a there's less of a saving. Uh, I would imagine just the duties and, and yeah. just the, the you know the, obviously the import sort of implications now with Brexit. It ends it's up being almost the same. I think it depends five on the pounds, retailer. Yeah. If you're right off their website, you save five pounds. Right. But I think depending on the store, some of the UK guys were saying, yeah, it's basically the same basically price. Basically the same, yeah. yeah. Maybe probably even retails for closer to, Maybe. to 45 in, in some shops. Mm -hmm. okay. That's good to see. Well, let's uh, let's jump in there, guys. We're going to do our standard test, 50 yard, half wedge, full uh, pitching wedge, yep. seven iron and driver. Really, really keen to see how these two stack Me up. Me too. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, Oh, it's a spinner. It's got zip. Oh. It's nice. It's a nice one. Really nice one. That's sounding good, Matty boy. It's a goodie. Lots of spin. Woo. I mean, I think definitely these spin Ooh. rates with, with both of these balls are going to play a big part. I mean, you're swinging that pitching wedge at 8 to 8 miles an hour. Yeah, I kind of feel it's like I... short. No, I just... I'm putting so much spin on the ball now, So which, much. That's nice. Good one. Oh. 
That's a good swing. Felt good. It's good too. Yeah, and, and that one you'll probably retain your spin. You'll probably be 96, 97. Yeah, just with a, a slightly left starting line. Oh, oh wow, ten. there's a 10. Yeah. <laughs> It's funny, I mean, with the swing changes, I think some people will have seen on my Instagram, I'm producing more spin. Mm -hmm. I think this might be an exercise that shows me that I, I need to play the Pro V1 this year. Yeah. Which yeah. is fine, it's been a good ball for me. Totally. Um, but the Pro V1X might just be with a little more dynamic loft, kind of floating these up there and they're yeah. five yards short. But for someone looking for a, a really nice lower launch high spin flight, mm -hmm. these balls are great. They're really, really good. I felt really good. Nice, Matty boy. Lovely flight. That's good. That's lovely. Nice and high. That's Swing, good. Matty boy. Good flight. Nice. Let's see. Felt pretty similar. Swing. Good. Good. Also good. Yeah. That one was really good. It's hit really well. Really good. That looked exactly like one of the Pro V1X balls. That one. Turnover. There it is. That's a nice one. Very nice. All right, Matty boy. So, very interesting test from the standpoint of how similar those two golf balls are. As I kind of said, it's not, maybe it was the seven iron. I said if you painted them both with no logos, I got to be honest, I, I really don't know if I could tell the difference. Yeah. So, a 50 yarder was, as we saw, almost identical 200 RPMs of difference for the same carry number, standard deviations were both excellent, no, no issues with either one. Out to the wedge, we saw slightly more spin from Pro V1X, very similar uh, carry, similar speed, so PXG yeah. all throughout was, was quite quick. It was very quick, yeah. and maybe that pitching wedge was five yards right of the Pro V1X, but they're, I don't know, we're just splitting hairs. Really, here. really are. Over to the seven, again, PXG nice and quick. Uh, just a tick above uh, the spin this time by about, what, 53 RPM, so yeah. nothing, same, same yardage. Even with the draw, it still Even spun the, the draw. same. Yeah, lots, lots of spin. And again, slight edge on, on speed. Um, so that's where that, obviously that firmness is. On one hand, uh, you know, maybe it's a detriment to some people's feel, yeah. but it does come with the added benefits. It's very fast. It is very fast. Um, I mean, is 1.2 miles an hour ball speed going to be noticeable on a golf course? No. But no. to the people that say the ball is slow and short, I I'm not seeing that. We're not seeing that. No. And I think the, uh, the big thing here, guys, is we know a Pro V1X is, is an unbelievable golf it's ball. It's just as good as it gets. It really is. So. Yeah. Um, you know, PXG's done a heck of a job just across the board, really, because we've seen other golf balls that have elements of maybe good mid iron spin but fall off with the driver. It might be a bit slow, and with the 50 yard or the wedge shot, it might not kind of have the same spinning control. You see that standard deviation, you know, widen a little bit. 
I mean, these two have really matched the, the whole way. It's basically a dead heat. And I said to you, uh, if you stay on the driver for one second, yep. um, I said to you, like, can you make sure I'm not swinging faster with the PXG? Because I just didn't want that to be an issue. Yeah. And if you go to club data, they were within, they're the same. Same. Exactly the same. So the ball is, is definitely fast off the driver. It mm -hmm. spins almost exactly the same as the Pro V1X does on every club. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm trying to kind of see whether on the wedge shot, I mean, everything with the, the PXG, if we're, if we're going to, if we're going to just call it out, everything was slightly more offline. You had a better, easier time hitting the... Now, that, that could Psychological, be... Psychological, yeah. Yeah, it could be. Could just I, be I would blame any any shots that ended up a little right of target as a pattern, I blame myself. Mm -hmm. I think if you stuck these both on a robot, uh, you might end up with the same numbers. Similar, similar numbers. They were going to make one ball. See how the market uh, reacted, see if there were sales, see if there's demand. Yep. I'll be shocked if there isn't because the price point's good and we're seeing it perform well. Mm -hmm. Not just here, but outside it was good for us yeah. as well. Um, now maybe they go back and say, okay, let's make a second ball. Yep. Let's go a little softer. Let's go a little lower spin mm -hmm. off the irons. Yeah. And now you capture Pro V1 and Pro V1X market versus just Pro V1X market right now. What we're testing here, guys, is, is a company that has pr produced a ball that performs like a Pro V1X. Yeah. We are not able to fully tell you whether over the course of, you know, crosswinds and this, we, we can't tell you what the aer aerodynamic elements are. We can't tell you what the dimple pattern truly is doing. Not, we haven't hit enough shots outside. Mm -hmm. I think we hit enough um, on the range with our fitting to yep. say, yeah, it flew, like I was watching the ball, I was watching the track my numbers. It, it was windy as you, as you remember. Yeah. Um, it flew nice, yep. but you're right. I mean, was this an aerodynamic test? No, I mm -hmm. think we got a good impression outside and a very good impression inside. Really good, really yeah. good stuff, yeah. yeah. good for them. I, 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 I are you shocked, are you, uh, not shocked, I mean, are you surprised that, you know, we saw good stuff outside, but are you surprised coming in and really looking yeah. at the details? I am. I am yeah. a little bit as well. I didn't think it would keep up literally just every, neck and oh, neck yeah, on every category. Way. So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I don't know why there was negativity around it, you know, at its release, but we're not seeing it. We would definitely say that, that this, this golf ball is performing you know, really as, as good as, as anything yeah. uh, in that category. Awesome. Excellent. Okay, guys, let us know if you've been out and tried it. I know they're not in, uh, you know, wide or, or sort of easily available yet. I think ordering off their website's your best bet. Is that right? That seems to be. Yeah, I know there was shipments coming in. We actually ended up playing a round and we wanted to play it in the round we played. Yeah. There was none left in the shop. Because the members bought them all. That's right, that's yeah. right. Guys, make sure you're uh, following us, like and subscribe to follow us on all of the videos we've got coming up. It was a busy January. It's not slowing down. It's, no. uh, it was going to be, or oh, it has been a busy February. I can't believe we're at the end of February. It is crazy. Yeah. March is, uh, is coming fast. So all your favourite series are still to come. The head-to-heads, the bracket, all see, uh, still to come. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you aren't already. And so, yeah, stay tuned for all the great content. Yeah. Good. All right. We'll see you again soon.